So today, I'm finally doing it. We are finally looking at the Yodo. It's been quite a while since this ship and line has been released, and I haven't featured it on the channel at all. We're finally at the one take for it, so I can't really put it off too much longer. And uh, yeah, it's safe to say I'm not a huge fan of this ship, and really the line is not really all that interesting to me. I was certainly someone who was pretty worried about the Yodo when it was first being introduced, because 18 light cruiser guns, that sounds pretty terrifying as um, someone who likes to brawl in battleships. That sounds pretty crazy to deal with. And then it came out, and it really isn't all that scary to deal with. It's very difficult to play, I think, for a few reasons, but it really comes down to the ship really being a heavy cruiser with um, a lot of light cruiser disadvantages. I think the turning radius, as you can see here, is pretty atrocious. I think uh, the size of the ship certainly lends itself to be more of a heavy cruiser in its physical size. It's easy to hit, but then it has light cruiser armor and light cruiser guns, which means at 18 kilometers, we have a 14 second lead time, which is pretty difficult to deal with. I think that the torps, while useful, are difficult to land as well. They're pretty slow, at least with this build, 60 knots. They do good damage and have pretty good range, but I don't really feel all that confident. Even in opening up on a bow in Condi like this, it's just, it's a difficult ship to play, guys. It's very, very hard. And the damage output is really not the best. Let's open up a little bit here, see if we can't do a little something to this Condi. And a little bit of chip damage. I will say I am taking IFHE here. I'm trying to do as much damage to battleships and that as I can. The Salem instantly opens up on us, which Feels a little bad, but hopefully our team is going to do some good work to him. Uh, he's caught pretty well in the open. Torps are almost back up, so we do want to be making use of those. Gandhi does have that burst, so hopefully we're angled enough for that. Although he's got the Ichi burst. Yep, there goes 20k <laughs> just from the Ichi. And he permed one of our torp tubes. All right. We are into super ships here. Oh, we get one of his torp tubes back. Cool. Uh, we are definitely struggling to deal with super ships. And a big issue also is even though you have DPM, it's very difficult to use all of your turrets without exposing yourself uh, pretty broadside to the enemy ships, which is not really what I want to be doing most of the time. All right, it is just the Condi out here by the looks of things. Although somebody did collect that buff. So I will be, I guess I'll just torp these buffs. We are in arms race, unfortunately. Um, it's something that really don't have a lot of control over on the matchmaker side of things. I guess we've done okay damage here so far, but I'm very, very cautious with this ship. And then we looked at the uh, Nevsky at the end of last week, really, that ship is just so much better than the Yodo. Not only do you gain the same kind of range and ability for the ship to, uh, well, potentially do a lot of really, really good damage out to long range and apply a lot of pressure there, we have radar, which allows you to contest cap zones and do pretty well in that kind of role. All right, let's try again a little bit here. Wow, they just instantly opened up on me. All right, so we're we're in a bit of a tough spot here. Wow, they're like right on me instantly. Uh, okay, well, we might take some pain here. Hopefully do some trades to the Condi. Um, I don't think that the Yodo is good enough to warrant this level of focus. Um, <laughs> it is... <laughs> <laughs> the Yodo is, uh, I think this is me right now. Unfortunate, but I think we do end up getting this Condi with our team. So that's really nice. Um, yeah, like, 
battleships to farm in that. And he's shooting AP at an angled out Yodo at max range. Um, it's difficult. It's very difficult. At least we don't have to deal with a uh, carrier in this one. That's really nice. Even though we have do, we do have really long range on our AA. It really just doesn't do much damage. So that uh, is pretty the difficult. Oh my goodness, we have lost a lot of ships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, arms race. Why are you in the game still? I really don't like this game mode. Um, I might even cut the rest of this out because this is about to be over. Uh, but to really quickly tell you guys, I hate arms race because it is epicenter that gives the team that's winning buffs to their ships. And really what that comes down to is epicenter was traditionally the game mode for blowouts. And then... If you give the winning team in a game mode that really accentuates blowouts buffs on top of that, it really becomes the game mode for blowouts. So I really haven't had a lot of fun playing Arms Race most of the time. I'd really prefer to have uh, Airship Escort back personally. That would be awesome. But you can see here that they just have all the buffs. They have control of the key area. And really, that's where a lot of the new buffs are going to be spawning. So they're going to be getting more of those new buffs. And uh, that is a pretty big problem. So hopefully they uh, do change this game mode up a little bit. I would love for them to uh, bring Airship Escort back. But really, I think the whole game mode needs, uh, needs a once over or maybe two. Yeah, it really is on me. Huh? All right. The millisecond I'm spotted, this Salem wants me. Yeah, that shovel, the shovel velocity makes it difficult. It certainly does. But against battleships, we can, you know, do all right at longer ranges. And we do just barely get over that. That's really good. And now we have to uh, assault this A cap. Oh boy. I didn't mention it, but even though you are light cruiser, it's very difficult to deal with uh, destroyers because of your shell velocity. You can see we're leading off the screen here and then we don't even end up getting too much for hits. But we do have good turn traverse. Uh, that's really nice about it. But I think what it comes down to is I feel pretty weak in the Yodo whenever I do end up playing it. I find it's just this contradiction of what is this ship supposed to be doing? Is it this open water, long range cruiser? Then we're really lacking in not only DPM, but we're lacking in uh, armor and maneuverability as well. So it's, it's something that I don't really want to be taking into open water engagements. And then if I'm using islands a lot, well then typically I'm wanting to push up more and then use a little more DPM at closer ranges, maybe? That would be uh, the idea. Unfortunately, uh, we lose this one, <laughs> unsurprisingly. All right. Anyways, that's just arms race for you. Uh, a bad game mode to go with a bad ship. I'll try and keep it positive, but uh, here's the commander build that I'm using right now. Maybe this is not maximizing the Yodo completely, but I do really like having IFAG against battleships specifically. This ship feels pretty weak when you land a bunch of shell hits on a battleship and then they just all shatter. And really with your uh, fire chance, it's really not that great even without IFAG. Um, and I'm complaining about damage, but I'm not taking heavy HE and sap because that's gonna make my concealment larger, which then me makes me farther away from the battle, which means I'm gonna have to deal with that poor shell velocity more and miss more often, not deal as much damage in that way. Um, maybe I need to be taking more advantage of these torpedoes, but for the sake of the video, let us uh, maybe change up our build just a little bit. Maybe we try, maybe we try just no IFAG. I hope that that will uh, help us out. Uh, GG, bro. I will say that out of respect to the player. I don't feel like that was a good game though. I have a tough time calling blowouts a good game because they're really not much fun for anyone. Uh, even on the winning side. I'm not saying that just because I lost. I really don't find winning from a blowout to be all that interesting. 
it's just kind of like, why did I even play? That's what it comes down to, uh, at least for me. So no IFHE. We will try uh, to use more of our fires. We got a lot of points left over. You know what? Let's just throw them into some torp tubes. Uh, see if we can't do a little bit more there. <laughs> I... Yeah, this ship, this ship is quite something. Still taking uh, main gun reload because our DPM is just atrocious as a tier 10. Again, I, I'm i pretty hard on this ship. And I was worried about it when I came out. Like, as a battleship player and someone who wants to push in, I think it's nice to not always have a power creep of more and more and more DPM, more and more fires at longer ranges with better shell velocity all the time. I think it's good that we're not power creeping that. But playing the Yodo feels pretty bad. I'm not really sure what I would uh, necessarily change about it. I think maybe the shell velocity? It would still have poor DPM, but then with the shell velocity being a little bit better, uh, you'd be hitting more sh more targets reliably. Maybe that would be uh, the way. But as it stands, it really feels like it can't use most of its range because of that poor shell velocity. It, it makes... It doesn't make as much sense to me. It seems like it should be more like the Zhao, where it has like a 16 kilometer range or something like that base without taking range mod. And uh, maybe that would even help you not get detected in instances where uh, otherwise you would because the extra range is going to increase your bloom and much more so than uh, maybe this 15 or 16 kilometer ring of our torpedoes. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't played it as much as some other ships in this game, so I don't really have anything specific to say about balancing. Uh, other than that, I don't really enjoy it, and I don't think this is a line that's really worth grinding. I think there's a lot of other tier 10s that do what this ship does, but better. If you want to have that open water cruiser, long range open water cruiser experience, you should be going for... Um, Henry, you should be going for Goliath, you should even Zhao over this, you should be going for um, Nevsky, Petro, kind of, sure, can, I mean, Petro can do a lot of different things, uh, but there's Ve Venezia, like, what does this do better than a Venezia, right, um, it's just weird, it's just weird to me, and, and not every ship should be power creep, I know, but if I'm really critiquing this and saying, and, you know, telling you guys, if this ship is worth getting, what it has is a lot of long range torpedoes that are pretty slow. And then you're in the same situation as a GNAN, for example, where the GNAN requires people to push into it for it to do damage. And Yodo feels similar in maybe a little bit worse because the GNAN allows you to have a smoke screen that then you can use to uh, disengage or use to farm people that are pushing into you without being spotted. This ship has to use islands. We do get very lucky in this one. We don't get super ships, which is really nice. No, uh, no arms race, which is also great. But more importantly, no sub, no carrier. That's a pretty big deal for us. So let's uh, hop over here. Maybe send out some torps there and uh, See if we can get, can't get some spotting over this island. Sometimes there's some really good uh, opportunities to use this island here to farm anybody that's uh, playing south of sea. This is something you'll probably want to be doing with the Yodo as well, not taking the open water approach as much. Sure, we do have a lot of HP, but that can uh, definitely disappear quite quickly. The bear is crazy aggressive, so I'd like to be able to help him in an engagement if he does end up getting in one. So there's the uh, deployment. Oh, we get lit. Wonder from where. Well, hopefully we don't get dev struck because I'm going to commit to a reverse here. Pretty good damage into the Des Moines. Of course, without IFHE, we still have that uh, 30 millimeters of pen, which is good enough for cruisers. And yeah, the damage feels pretty good right there interesting that we're still lit. It has to be... Right, it has to be behind us. Or maybe not. Maybe this island is shorter than I think. Wow, already much better damage. Perhaps uh, my target selection has been really poor. 
Maybe the key is to go with no IFHE and become a cruiser killer? We're learning on the spot, guys. <laughs> okay, it does look like somebody is uh, back there. Uh, it's unfortunate our battleships are kind of deciding to push there without really any knowledge of what's around. And we don't have our DDs here. Makes me rather uninterested in going there myself. Okay. So we like we do have the sea cap, which is really good. The thunder is going to start kiting here, so I don't Torpedoes really astern. want to be uh, dealing with that too much. So we're just going to hang out and wait. Um, we probably end up losing our Shikishima, maybe. But I will try and help on this Des Moines if I can. Try and get that over that island. Maybe the Yodo comes back. Or this Yamato gets into a position where I can farm him. Something like that would be uh, what we're looking for. With poor shell velocity, we do have uh, some opportunities to use islands creatively. So maybe even this big island over here, we can shoot over this part maybe. Really depends on our ability to uh, swap things. All right, let's see if we can finish this Des Moines out. Those torps do run out, which feels really nice. Another nine hits. Decent against cruisers, certainly. Enemy Yoto's pretty far away. I'm not going to uh, push here because we did just lose our... Yeah, we did just lose our <laughs> Shikishima. But what I will do is I'm going to push far enough to get our torps off. And maybe... We catch a Yamato being just a little too greedy. And I will turn and grab the other side as well. Try there. Turn our guns to the other side. Although it doesn't really matter with that uh, turret traverse being uh, pretty solid. Don't have to think too far ahead about turning the guns quickly. Oh, unfortunately, it looks like our Guden is about to sit here which well, we'll see if we can launch torps behind him but he might reverse into those and uh, there won't be a lot we can do about it we'll set up here and try and farm this Yamato we don't have IFHE so we were we will be seeing a lot more shatters so we have to hit that small superstructure yeah so he did uh, start reversing fair enough we got a few passed may as well give it a go since these days you don't actually do damage to your teammates Uh, we are losing pretty badly on the other flank. I think that means I should probably try and go help. We want to be going after whoever is pushing. Oh, our Kleber yellowed. All right, so not the greatest teams in this one. <laughs> so, you know, you could maybe look at this and say, oh, you just didn't get good teams and <laughs> you got blowouts. But I think this ship doesn't have the battle impact to really deal with clothes, personally. Um, but maybe, I, I think I might have been wrong about IFHE. Possibly. Uh, you guys will have to let me know. Um, let's, uh, well, the Yamato's turning around. So let's send our torps through this gap. And then uh, maybe head over to the B area-ish. I don't know if I can deal with... I don't know if I can deal with a small end or something like that, but maybe we get in, in range of the uh, Kerr first if he decides to push, or I don't know. But we are about to be triple capped. Torpedoes to port. It's not amazing. Let's just pop our hydro. Maybe we push here, and then uh, go down firing. That's Yodo shots. That incoming fire alert can be very useful at ranges. Let's just assume somebody's pushing there pretty aggressively. This being lit here means the DD's here somewhere? Or maybe behind one of these islands? Torpedoes to starboard. Ah, okay. The small end was out there. Torpedoes to starboard. Shimakazi's over here. We just saw, we just saw the uh, 
guns. So we got our hydro. We should be catching up to the smoke soon. And we don't have DPM, but we do have alpha, right? So 18 guns into, into a shima, hopefully. Ooh, we only hit eight. 10, 10 out of 18. It's all right. It's not too amazing, but it's all right. I don't want to be the pushing cruiser. I don't want to be the guy pushing, I should say, in general with the ship. Um, oh, can we make this turn? I really would like to. I want to get my torps through here. I see the... I saw some Yamato AP, I think, come across. So, ideally, we get some torps here. The torp angles are pretty nice. I, I'll say that, certainly. Uh, let's go like that. And, okay, there's a Thunderer. We have the health, so I should probably try and help on this Salem. Motto is right there, holy. We missed the Emmy, but, uh, maybe for the Thunderer? Probably not. Problem solved, sir. So thunder is on the sheet. It's fine. Take some big, big, big hits. Definitely, <laughs> the HP definitely disappears with this thing. But to be fair, it's a pretty powerful battleship shooting at us. Right, we dodged that one. I don't know if we're dodging the auto fire though. The enemy is about to win. Oof. Yep. Brutal. Somebody shot us from over there. Yeah, I think we're done. So that's kind of it, right? Like, sure, we do have we do have some HP, but we don't have so much HP that it negates the the big issues that we are a gigantic light cruiser, right? So as a light cruiser, we're just no armor, but we're as big as a heavy cruiser, or even bigger. This is a giant ship that is very, very easy to hit. So, yeah, there you go. For those of you that wanted to see Yodo, this is why I haven't really played it on the channel. Um, I don't have a lot of positive things to say about the Yodo or the last couple of games we've had. Pretty unlucky with, uh, with Matchmaker, but that's just going to happen. I think... The key to dealing with that is a lot of early battle impact. That is how I like to play, or at least especially with cruisers. To have battle impact in a cruiser, I need to be contesting caps. I need to be helping destroyers win their engagements. And that's not something the Yodo is going to be all that great at doing. Even without radar, let's just say you sneak up with a friendly DD and try and help him in his fight. Your shell velocity is going to hold you back against uh in those dd fights compared to a lot of other cruisers and that's not to say cruisers with radar then so yeah i mean sure you can say you can say we got unlucky with uh with the matchmaker we certainly did these were some pretty atrocious teams but i also think this ship is bad and i don't think it's necessarily going to be saved if you do give it better teams um it's not going to be the difference maker in these matches. You will, you're will, you pretty much just along for the ride. And uh, you can see the armor here. 30 millimeters and uh, 25 elsewhere. It's pretty bad. And then if we just check the Citadel, a little bit above water. Not too crazy, but it is very long. 
and uh, very overmatchable too. So you can definitely take some Citadels stirred in. I wonder if that Yamato got some Citadels on us in that uh, stirred in against us. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, as a Battleship player, I'm pretty happy that this thing is not very good. <laughs> it's one less light cruiser to worry about when I'm trying to push in and not get HE spammed to death. But to play it, oh man, it is tough. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.